Hello friends, welcome to this operating system class. Uh, here we will see uh, the Peterson solution which is the software solution for the critical section problem. In the last class we have seen the general terms about critical section problem and the three general solutions for this problem. Okay? Now let us see how to implement this solution which is called as the Peterson solution. Let us see uh, this Peterson solution in detail. The Peterson solution is a classical software based solution to the critical section problem and this will give a very good algorithm for uh, two processes. Okay, here assume the two machine language instructions load and store and these two are atomic that means these two instructions cannot execute simultaneously and cannot be interrupted. Uh, let us assume two processes PI and PJ and these two processes have share the two variables. First one is turn which is of type integer and second one is flag which is of type boolean and flag is an array variable. The array indicates the number of processes okay? P, I, uh, that is i and j. Here we are having two processes hence the flag array is 2. right? So, the p i and p j share the two variables first one is turn which is of type integer and second one is flag which is of type boolean. Uh, here the first variable turn which is used to, to indicate whose turn is to enter the critical section that is if turn value is i then processor p i will enter the critical section if turn value is j then the processor pj will enter the critical section. So, for this purpose the turn variable is used and second one is flag array. Flag array is used to indicate if the process is ready to enter the critical section or not. Okay, because this is a boolean variable which will accept only two values either true or false. If flag of i which is equal to true which implies process i is ready to enter the critical section. Okay, here the Peterson algorithm is an humble algorithm that is p i will set turn which is equal to j and p j will set turn equal to i that is p i will allow the process p j to enter the critical section and the process p j will allow the p i will enter the critical section. The Peterson solution also perceives all three conditions that is the critical section problem conditions uh, which we have seen in the last class is not it. First one is mutual exclusion, pro progress and bounded weighting. What is mutual exclusion? It assumes that only one process can access the critical section at one time and second one is progress which assured the process outside the critical section does not block other process from entering the critical section and third one is bounded weighting which perceives as every process to get fair chance to access the critical section. And now let us see how this p i and p j will uh, share this critical section. Okay, first uh, this is p i turn and here p j will execute. The p i will change the flag of i which is equal to true. Okay, and this is humble uh, algorithm hence the p i will change the j to turn okay, the turn value equal, equal to j. Now let us check the condition while condition if flag of j which is equal to true and turn equal to equal to i which is also true then the while condition will be true the entire while condition result will be true. And this is end of end by semicolon hence the control will not be go out beyond the while loop because the ended by semicolon. If any one of the condition is false then only the control will execute the critical section. Okay? And this is very important here. Okay? After executing the critical section the p i turn this flag of i to false. Okay? After that it will enter the reminder section here this is the entry and this is the exit okay this is what the pi will execute the critical section now let us see how 
these two process can enter the critical section simultaneously okay how this particular problem will predict uh, one process to execute the critical section only one process to execute the critical section okay now what the pi will do pi will change the flag of i into true isn't it see here flag of i equal to true and what is the turn value turn equal to j okay here this particular process change the turn value into i okay here if both the condition are true then pj cannot enter into the critical section that means pi only allowed to enter the critical section after that what it will do the flag of i which is equal to false then only the process j will change the flag of j which is equal to true okay now what will happen this particular uh, condition will be false and this will be true because here see this one will be true okay if any one of the condition is false then only the while condition will be false then the pj will be allowed to enter the critical section okay after completing the pi only pj will allow to enter the critical section the next the pj will change the flag value into false then it will execute the remainder remainder section so this is how the process pi and pj will share the critical section the disadvantage of peters solution first one is it involves busy waiting okay if pi enter the critical section and execute the critical section then pj busily waiting to enter the critical section okay and it limits only two processes if more number of processes then the peterson solution will not give the proper solution here the peterson will not guarantee to work on modern computer architecture because more number of process can try to access the critical section simultaneously in modern computer architecture hence the peterson will not give the proper solution for this modern architecture up to this we have seen the peter solution and which is the software solution for critical section problem and also we have seen the disadvantage of peterson solution also now this is the question time students please list the drawbacks of peterson solution in the comment box in the next class we will see another important topic from uh, second unit thank you